Hello again, I am Jim Bob, and welcome back to Railway Empire, Great Britain and Ireland, Transport Revolution. We are about to have another bash at Don Lorenzo's shares with that other analyst that we just hired. Share price is back down to 237 again. That might be because he's just spent a huge amount of money. I'm not sure if the analyst has actually kicked in yet. It hasn't been very long since we hired him. So I'm just watching the share price. Middlesbrough grows. Ah, Middlesbrough grows. So, before we do anything else... Oh, with such delicate little things, I just that steel can't mill. say no. There we go, steel industry. Uh, plonk that in there. Excellent stuff. So, we need to now connect uh, this service up over here. So, let's get that in place. Uh, we want a small station to run iron in. That's getting very crowded, isn't it? I'm going to actually deliberately route this onto the passenger line. There's not a huge amount of rail traffic on the passenger line, so we can kind of get away with it. Plus, it's already a very messy freight connection on the lower line, so I don't really want to screw with that too much. I am toying with the idea of the, bringing the wood in through the back of Johnson Mine as well. Uh, we're probably going to need that. And we have... Uh, well, actually, no, I want that to go in all directions, don't I? To, no, we'll just, we'll just do a single connection. So let's put it where it's... Looking at heights, let's get, try and get it as low as I can. That might be a bit of a gradient, we'll see. Certainly don't want it to bridge like that. Yeah, it's going to be a bit of a gradient, but we've got the new train, so that'll cope with that. In fact, if I expand this station, take that bit out, do that, put our crossing in, like that. Bring this around like this. Reposition these signals there. Uh, I'm actually just going to take those ones out completely. There we go. Uh, can I get two in there? Yes, I can. What about over here? Yep, two in there as well. So, what I want is for the wood train to be able to pass through while the other train is loading up. So, for us to do that, I want to run a train from here. Did I put in a fish pie? Oh, I did, didn't I? I put fish pies in. We'll fix that. Uh, I want this train to run from Johnson Mine on platform that has two. Nothing to do with like traveling that. in style. Uh, and let's sort this out. I can't believe I put a bakery in there. Uh, demolish. Uh, why did I do that? I clicked one too high, look. Didn't realise. So that's the steel industry in there. That's what we want. Uh, so 
by having the train loading on the lower platform, it means that a train can come through here while the train is loading on this platform here. We'll try and uh, you know simulate that in just a second. Uh, let's get the coal trains running in. Uh, let's put an engineer on there. And the stoker. Oh, nice. Bonus with that. Beautiful. Uh, I've got a conductor. Put onto that train there. And the security guard. No. Uh, so the coal train's going in, and I'm going to duplicate the coal train. I'm going to get a wood train going in. Wait and wait and wait a second. Let the wood train get started. There it goes. So if we stick an iron duke on there now, that'll start to load up. It's loading up on the wrong platform. Oh, I must have not saved the, cho the, the change. That's the, yeah. That's the platform it should be loading on. That train's going to disappear now. <laughs> it's, it's not. It's going to go that way and then come back onto the right platform, grab the last little bit of load and then go back to Middlesbrough again. Uh, dear, dear, dear. Let's expand this industry as hard as we can, all the way up as fast as we can, because we want that steel going into, uh, into Newcastle and that should get carried across on the freight train. That train's on the wrong line. Be running on these lines. <sighs> okay. Uh, so coming out of uh, Middlesbrough wants to run on that line. Like that. Yeah, that's the line it should be running on. I'm going to have to correct these ones as well now because these are going to be running on the wrong lines as well. I see now they're getting held up here by the freight trains. Look, that's not what I wanted with my express trains. So uh, from Middlesbrough to Newcastle it goes on that line and then coming out to Newcastle on that line. Uh, next line, the original, again, being held up by freight goes out on that line and this again we'll probably screw these trains up on this particular journey until they reset themselves <sighs> Don Lorenzo shares uh, a bit pricey again let's have another little nibble for five percent we're getting there is that the last of our tasks as well, Don Lorenzo's company? It is. A market crier. And a saboteur. Oh, I should have bought the saboteur first. Uh, Don Lorenzo. Train station. Northampton. Nobble him in Northampton. I'm going to hire both of these market criers as well try and improve our passengers or the number of passengers our network is sprawling now it's insane how many trains we've got running Get a fifth one on that line just because it's a long line and it's still a way for the other trains to get back yet. Plus, we've just you know hired uh, someone to uh, you know pump up the markets, so we may as well take advantage of that. Let's uh, check these trains. 
Send your damn saboteurs packing. Yeah, I might put a third train on this line. Uh, nah, I'll leave it as is. Two is enough. So Middlesbrough is producing steel. Oh, I didn't demolish. That's what I wanted to do. Let's expand that industry. And I want to find my freight train. Uh, that's the cop the ore train. Where's my freight train? There it is. Look at that. Look, we're shipping steel already. Cloning that train, get two of them running back and forth. And Newcastle is still growing. Good. That's very good. And now that we're shipping steel in there, it's going to really boost their uh, demand for that as well. So we need to deliver 50 loads of steel. We've done two. We need to make more. How are we doing in hull? Oh, I've had a sneaky, sneaky idea. Oh, that's so sneaky. I thought I could maybe set a steel mill up here in Newcastle, deliver to a warehouse, and then ship it straight back to Newcastle again and that would count as delivering um, but it's it's you know it's a long way for the coal from there all the way up to Newcastle it's slightly less of a route from there into Hull so I think what we'll do is or even Leeds whichever one upgrades first it might be Leeds actually and Leeds is closer to Sheffield than Hull <laughs> yeah I think what we'll do look at that that tray is now carrying lots of steel might not need to, but uh, we may put a steel mill in here as well. Uh, oh no, there's no coal connection. So it would have to be in hull. Thought about trying to be really clever, but uh, we won't. Loads of staff suddenly applying. That's all good. And that's steel. Upgrade the train as well to an Iron Duke. And we'll put an engineer on there. And a stoker. Oh, look at the speed boost. Oh, 19%. Where's the other one? It's there. Let's put our other stoker on that one. That's just going to prove reliability. Uh, okay. It improves reliability. That's better. You see how the train slowed down as it went through the points there. That's uh, partly because of the points, partly because of the corner. It's quite sharp at that first part of the corner. That train there just whizzing straight through. There's more steel being shipped out. We're not going to need a second steel mill. This will do fine. I am going to need to up the amount of ore being produced though, so... I'm going to buy this business. No competing bids. What Good. are you going to do with this piece of junk? <laughs> what am I going to do? I'm going to start producing a lot of iron. So that I can get... Uh, one of your engineers spilled the beans, a nice, and good now bit of I cash. have new technology. I think we might actually finish off this episode. Don Rezzo's company value has... Oh, look at his share price. Again, this is what I don't understand. His company value is only 47 million, and yet... Yeah, we've seen him with shares at a price of two, three hundred thousand, with a company value at fifty-five and a half million. 
I don't need this one per se, but it might open up some other options for us when we do get some points again. I only wanted to drive up the price. And look at that, his shares are horrendously expensive. His company value has gone down and down and down. It's starting to rebound by the look of it. But um, I have no need to spy, spy on you, but uh, curious all the same. They just never seem to make sense. Still got a shortage of iron. I've got one load available at the moment. Let's upgrade the business again. Our train is just whooshing through now. Oh, I haven't got a supply tower on the line, have I? There we go. Problem solved. That's a random breakdown. Bit of uh, weird frame lag there for a second. Uh, I'm going to uh, scrub off one of these two coal trains now because I don't need them both. Free a bit of, bit of extra capital. Let's take a quick look at our cities. Newcastle up to 29,000 people now. Northampton 120,000. 85 in Nottingham. 81 in Oxford. 100 ooh, nearly 115 in uh, Birmingham. Dover's going up, finally. <laughs> <laughs> slowly Hull up to 34 and a half Leeds almost at 40,000 Liverpool 116,000 127,000 now in London 153,000 people in Manchester wow that's insane Middlesbrough already nearly 52,000 people that's that's crazy There we go. Getting a nice load of iron shipped in. We're consuming twice as much iron um, uh, as coal every time we make steel. So we need to have a lot of iron going in. But yeah, we're rocketing through. What are we up to now? 13 loads delivered. No other city will have a demand for steel that's connected because you know the demand for steel doesn't kick in until 100,000 people. Uh, so we're absolutely fine there. Uh, what can we put in here though? I could possibly go with fabric, but we've got fabric being produced there. Uh, I could maybe put a tailor's in, I suppose. Another way for that fabric to get shipped out. What else is there? I could bring the dairy across. Um, choices, choices, choices. I don't want anything that's going to require steel. Because I don't want to steal it away from Newcastle. So I think I'll just play it straightforward and just go with the tailors. And then they can collect fabric from Manchester, hopefully. And uh, how is Manchester doing on weaving? Let's expand the industry again. Sawmills running about capacity at the moment. Yeah, hopefully we can get some uh, fabric shipped back and forth. Where is my freight train between the two? There it is. Leaving with some fabric. Excellent. How are we doing for steel? 
That's another load of steel on its way. And another load of steel on its way. Good stuff. Passenger trains now, absolutely full. They were struggling earlier. Oh, we've got a security guard to hire. Uh, let's stick him on this train. Uh, a saboteur. We will hire the saboteur to uh, nobble <coughs> Don Lorenzo. Uh, let's nobble him in Southampton this time. I heard someone else saying that they were encroaching on us. Uh, who was it? Ah! I see. No, no, totally Saturn. That's not ours. Wow, look at that. The dock has spread all over Scotland already. We've got competition in Oxford. No, just going over Oxford. Oh, man. Look, com connected all the way out to Norwich. That was quick. I know for sure that you're behind this sabotage. Ah. Your I'm station here was so lonely. Now it has some company. Okay. Right. Uh, what can we do? Ah, you see, look. Ah, no, no, that was the one we bought there. But it has uh, done absolutely nothing for us, <laughs> buying the foundations, because we already had access to deep pockets, because we had collaborations. That was the one I bought between episodes um, that I was telling you about. So I guess I'm going to hang on to those points. Oh, actually, no. Reduce the cost of personnel by 20%. Yeah, we'll take that, because we've got a lot of personnel. That will help tremendously. Hire the conductor and the security guard. Let's find our northern trains. That one's got a conductor. That one doesn't. Now it does. Good stuff. Right, I think uh, a little ride along might be in order in a moment. Let's just see where we stand financially against Don Lorenzo, who suddenly jumped up into second place. We can't buy any more of his shares because. The other guys are bought. Oh, come on. They've dumped some of their shares in me and they bought some of his share. I can't. I can't buy him out. I need 100%. I could buy the available shares, but there's an extra markup. I'm just going to have to hope that they st they sell their shares in him. Oh, that's frustrating. Ooh, he gets on with my stoker, but not my security guard. Alright. We'll uh, put the security guard on a different train. Oh, that security guard doesn't get on with them either. <laughs> Um, we'll take him off, and uh, we'll find... Gee, do either of them get on... on this train? Oh, he does. Excellent. Nineteen percent speed boost on that line, that's insane. Uh, let's find some other freight that we can capitalize on. Hull grows. Let's try this train here. That's the ore train. It's not the one I want to boost. 
There we go, there's a train that we can boost. And a security guard. I get the feeling I've just stolen that engine that security guard from a different train by mistake. Never mind. It's too late now. Ah, they get on well, that's good. No other staff unassigned. Uh, what shall we do in Hull? What can we do in Hull? There's a second business. Huh. There's got to be something useful. I've got a distillery here, so I don't really want another one here in Hull as well. Um, although that could be useful. I just I need I would need to get planks in there. Let's do a sawmill. Let's put a sawmill in here. And uh, actually, no. Uh, Newcastle's about to pop. Let's go with a distillery. We'll go with a distillery because uh, Newcastle is about to pop soon. You know, it's only five thousand people away from another business, and we'll put a sawmill. Oh, I'm on the wrong line again. Oh, no, I've just completely screwed that up. Oh, oh. Screw it. We'll just leave it like that. <laughs> we'll leave it like that. I can't. We're close to finishing. I can't I can't be bothered to mess around with it now. Can I buy any more of Don Lorenzo's shares? No. Still no shares available. I can't afford to buy these guys out. I mean, look at the prices of their companies and their shares. Don Lorenzo's shares are worth 700,000 each. Eesh. Mind you, money worth over a million. I was really thinking we could we could get that bonus objective out of the way around the same time as you know, doing the steel delivery. What are we up to on steel? Only 26. Is that all? I think we need to look at oh, uh, museum. Thank you very much. Need to look at improving how fast we're making steel. Expand industry again. There we go. Plenty of materials. And if I can get to 90,000, I might just throw another steel mill in there. And give them 62,000, really pretty much. Pay more it's, it's not to that, the maintenance of your oh, locomotives. You know, it's not impossible that that might happen. That train broke down just before its destination. It's a long run from that wheat all the way down to Middlesbrough. I think what we might do is run in some wheat that way instead. Uh... I can't believe I uh, put a distillery in there. Alright, how's my sawmill doing? It's not getting enough wood. Right, where's the wood train? I've only got the one wood train running in. Okay, well we can fix that. Let's uh, crack on it. So it's going to go out... From Manchester on that line. Come back on that line. Uh, it's messed up over here as well. So it's actually going to go out there. And then on the way back, it's already routed through the right way. Yeah, there we go. Uh, so this will be a fruit, uh, a fruit train. <laughs> this will be a freight train. A fruit train, indeed. And uh, I want to run with an emphasis on planks from Manchester.
put the Iron Duke on that one. And now we need to... Oh, look. He snuck up into Manchester. Don Lorenzo is just suddenly sprawling all over my, uh, all over my towns. Expand my sawmill business quite dramatically. I'm going to put another... Another log train on. There we go. Any shares become available? No. How much is it going to cost me to buy them out now? 17 and a half. Ugh. Well, I'll tell you what. We've got enough to pay off these. Oh, we can do it. We can do it. We can buy them out. I kind of want to get the steel delivered first, but... I'm going to do it this way. Let's pay that one off. We're going to buy out Don Lorenzo. Execute the merger now. Yes. I'm going to liquidate everything. Put him completely out of business. Excellent. That one will not bother you again. Recently, the government in London has expressed a desire to connect Scotland industrial centres with the centres of England. They are actually debating about whether or not the railway should be nationalised. To avoid such an interference, you should attempt to establish a connection up north instantly. Are you kidding? You'll find We're yourself in a lovely spot with the fishes. We've got to go from Liverpool to Glasgow. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, I was not expecting that. Uh, where is Glasgow? Oh, it's there. It's going to be a mess. I'm trying to connect to there. Uh, it's going to be a right mess trying to come through there. Uh, Competition is the driving force behind innovation. Eesh, this is going to cost me a Bloody fortune. What, what was my other task? 120 loads of, of any commodity to Edinburgh. surprisingly competent. So I simply had to offer him a job. I, I might just... See if I can buy him out. I can't even get close to buying him out. Look. <laughs> Um, well, let's... Let's pay off one of those. Oh, God. Uh, all right, well. Uh, I'm a little... Doesn't I need to my pause. Doesn't factory look simply marvellous? I'm a little unsure on what to do now. <laughs> uh, it looks as though we never got the chance to actually finish off that steel task. So we've been building up all that steel to sell over here. And now, end of task. Is there even still a steel mill in here? There is. So we're still making money. So we'll keep that going. Um, let's pause again. So I need to deliver 120 loads of any old commodity. Oh, look. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. That snooty woman snuck in a cheese business when I wasn't looking. God damn her. Messing up my towns. Ironically, that's the one I was going to put in there because I got 
<sighs> I got that dairy connection right there. Right, now I'm thinking I'm going to need... I've, I've shied away from warehouses on this playthrough because I haven't felt they were necessary up until this point, but now I think a warehouse is going to be essential. Um, just so I can gather lots of different commodities. Maybe up near Carlisle. See, I've kind of screwed myself a little bit with the way some of these lines have been built. I might scrip, uh, scrub this line out completely. I don't know, because we've kind of got this connection coming out here. I might have to rework these. And then just run a line up here from the back of Liverpool. Uh, up here through Carlisle. And then split here. And then we can have one line that goes off towards Edinburgh. And then the other line go off to... Actually, no, they're both pretty close, aren't they? Um, uh, the feeling Glasgow is over here. That's air instead. It's just such a sprawling mess with his network there already. Especially the way he's built in Edinburgh like this. It's made it impossible for me to do what I would like to do, which would be just run a straight connection straight through. Because he's just plonked that there, and, and his station goes that way. So I can't build across. I would have to put my station in parallel like that, which means building around here where there's not really much space to do that. Hmm... Well, you know what? Because I need to have a really good think about this. Uh, we're going to actually end this episode really early. <laughs> we're going to end it um, about 38 minutes in, 39 minutes in, as opposed to 50-odd minutes. We'll, we'll end it early so I can have uh, a really good think about how I want to progress on this one. And, uh, and we will pick up our breakthrough into Scotland next time out. So that's it from me. Thanks for watching. I am a slightly, slightly puzzled Jim Bob, and I will catch up with you all again with some more Railway Empire, Great Britain and Ireland, Transport Revolution, very soon.